Good afternoon, it's uh, Ali Fazal. Hey, market analysts at CFDs.com bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for the trading session the uh, Tuesday, the 8th of May 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so looking at the uh, market stats here, then basically you have uh, the uh, U.S. markets certainly uh, obviously uh, pushing higher yesterday. European markets pushing higher as well yesterday. Uh, certainly was a positive session yesterday, given the fact that uh, we are back uh, from the holiday bank holiday break. Now, in terms of the FTSE, the uh, um, uh, pre-market uh, pricing, I think on Monday uh, evening certainly touched a pivot high of 7.620, if I can recollect. And obviously, cash market we're currently lower at the moment now. U.S. equities certainly, uh, U.K. equities certainly coming under pressure given the concerns or the political concerns regarding Brexit will always be there. Also recently, uh, the election certainly did help uh, Theresa May to a large extent. But the main reason why the FTSE certainly is pushing higher is, number one, the Iran deal. Uh, although Mr. Trump is expected to announce his decision at 2 p.m., uh, we'll see exactly how the markets move there. But again, it's oil. OK, oil prices certainly inflated due to the concerns regarding Iran. Uh, as you can see here now on the daily chart, the U.S. crude uh, certainly at the um, uh, touching the same seventy dollar level, although we just pushed back slightly. Now we touched seventy, put almost seventy one dollars. Now certainly has been quite impressive, and that in and of itself has helped the uh, the actual uh, commodity stocks certainly push higher, which in turn obviously helps the FTSE one hundred as well. In terms of um, the GBP USD as well, GBP USD now coming into support into that two hundred MA. We've had a drop from one point four three down to 1.35 certainly has provided a boost for exports which in and of itself has helped the FTSE 100 to a large extent now the situation regarding Iran certainly uh, uncertainty surrounds that uh, okay and again uh, if Mr Trump does agree with that although there has been uh, indications from France that they'll stick with it um, and renegotiate as opposed to leave it all together which in turn uh, will obviously hurt oil prices so watch for a potential oil price drop obviously uh, cause, causing the uh, uh, equity certainly to fall as well. U.S. equities certainly are under pressure at present. You have the uh, the Nasdaq now touching back to the 6800 level, and the S and P's back down 2665. I'm touching almost 2680, if I can recollect. So quite impressive moves. Uh, U.S. market certainly is more in tune with fundamentals at the moment, whilst European equities certainly are distorted given the uh, currency uh, fluctuations. Okay, so bear that in mind as well. In terms of economic data out this morning, yesterday we had uh, German factory orders coming in weaker than expected, uh, European centric consumer confidence as well coming in weaker than expected, and today uh, we've had um, German data industrial production uh, coming in slightly stronger than expected, but the trade balance certainly is a concern. Uh, one of the major concerns was the uh, imports. Imports down a negative 0.9%. Now that really is to me a very negative figure. And that doesn't bode well for the rest of the eurozone and global economy either. Germans certainly seem to be exporting, and again, that's going to going to cause ripples and going to cause concern. Now, the euro USD certainly is on its uh, demise. Certainly seems to be uh, declining again, uh, given the fact that Mr. Powell certainly commented regarding uh, a stronger dollar policy going forward, and that certainly has hurt euro USD. Now, I was expecting the potential support to hold and bounce. Now, we are into that key level now, around the 1.1870 zone. Uh, I expected this support to hold and potentially bounce around the 1.19 10 zone that failed. Okay, uh, and then again, you've got this previous resistance equal support zone now around the 1.1870. Now, let's see if that can hold. If that fails, then it certainly doesn't bode well, and the markets certainly are expected to move lower. So, bear that in mind as well. Uh, well, we're not, uh, not markets, but the equity market certainly will push higher, but FX market certainly lower now. It's all about the dollar. Dollar certainly seems to con um, be pushing higher. Uh, given the fact that uh, obviously uh, rate higher expectations, inflation expectations, etc., certainly isn't deterring commodities, though that's quite interesting. Okay, certainly isn't stopping the run in oil. Uh, so, again, that's quite impressive. Although copper and obviously gold have pushed higher, oil prices certainly moving, uh, moving higher, regardless of ge geopolitics. Now, again, that's not stopping equity markets. One would have expected the equity market certainly to have stopped. That hasn't been the case either. So, take that into consideration as well. Okay, so FTSE 100, from my perspective, given the stronger dollar in and of itself, should have been under pressure regardless. But because of oil prices, certainly keep, keep, keep keeping afloat, and obviously weaker euro, weaker GBP, certainly is helping those those actual uh, equities. Now, in terms of German DAX, let's just quickly have a look here. German DAX daily chart, again, it's all about a gap fill at 13.010. 
and you've got a gap for you like 13, 3, 30. Now, can we reach that level? That's the question. 60 minute chart, certainly retracing. Any retrace will find support around the 12, 8, 30, and then it'll ultimately gap for you like 12, 6, 90. So, watch out below. 10 minute chart at the moment still remains weak. I mean, we've held. Uh, well, we've, uh, well, we certainly held double top yesterday around the 12.960 now and ever since then certainly the market's been weak so watch out there okay in terms of the German DAX okay so keep an eye on the German DAX in terms of the next move there French CAC let's bring that up for you French CAC daily chart is into resistance one would expect a potential reversal lower 60 minute chart held holding that uh, gap fill resistance and double top as well so watch out uh, below Again, support is seen at 5485 on the French CAC. Okay, in terms of Euro stocks, let's just bring that up for you as well. Euro stock certainly is coming under pressure at present. So, uh, again, given the fact that, that pivot high from uh, Monday's trading session certainly has failed to uh, push higher there. Uh, and again, looking to reverse. Now, if we do reverse and continue to reverse, and you are looking at support around 3520 below, let's see if that support can hold. FTSE 100. Let's have a look here. The weekly chart clearly shows you resistance. We're certainly putting in a topping tail there. Daily chart as well, putting in a potential topping tail as well. 60 minute chart at the moment. We've pushed the new highs, but new highs so far have been rejected. Let's see how the market continues to uh, play out here. 10 minute chart on the, uh, the FTSE at the moment. Again, you've got a gap fill below at 7567. And then you've got pretty potential support at 7556. And then you've got support again at 7543. So again, those are the zones that you'll certainly be looking out for. Okay, so that's basically where we stand then in terms of the uh, indices. Uh, again, obviously we've seen weakness here on the back of dollar strength and uh, hawkish commentary from the FOMC uh, this morning. Again, uh, weaker data overall, more or less from uh, Europe as well. Uh, EU says we'll continue to implement Iran nuclear agreement fully. So it looks like... Uh, the implementation certainly is in motion and again you know are looking for weaker oil prices which in turn obviously will send you equities lower so let's just see how the market unfolds there okay so uh, again that's a summation really of european equities again uk and europe certainly benefiting from that weaker currency in the back of a stronger dollar euro dollar gbp usd certainly moving lower which in turn helps its exports to a large extent uh, but again how long will that uh, effect last uh, how long will that a strong a currency uh, obviously appreciation a currency boost uh, certainly last from the international markets that's the question on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly visit trade signals signals and market updates from leading providers goodbye now